down smoke. Hello everybody, welcome back to another regularly scheduled video. It's been a little bit of a while since I've actually done a regularly scheduled video where I just talk about investment tips and stuff like that. So uh, hopefully you're excited for this video. I worked extremely hard on it and did a ton of editing work. So please leave me a like below if you do enjoy it. And uh, let's get into this video. So everybody, today's video is going to be about investment play skins. It's going to be a video that allows you to both get the benefits of having really cool looking play skins in game, and also the benefits of making money off of them as time goes on. So I'm going to be breaking this into a few different parts. There's going to be different price points that I want to talk about. So this video is going to be a bit longer than you're probably expecting, but uh, it is going to be extremely useful information for everybody out there that wants to invest in skins, but also doesn't want to sacrifice like what their play skins and what their loadouts actually look like. So I'm also going to only be focusing on skins. There will be absolutely no sticker discussion in this video whatsoever. There will be no sticker capsule discussion uh, and no items other than skins. This is just going to be skins and uh, that's all that this video is going to actually focus on. That also means that there's not going to be any stickers on the skins that I'm talking about that are going to be pure vanilla skins. And uh, with that being said, that is what we are going to be doing today. Thank you so much for being here and watching it, and let's get started. Also, one more rule before we begin, I will not be covering any heavy weapons because they're not good investments in general, and I also won't be covering any unpopular variants, so like for example with the CZ or like the Tech 9 stuff like that, or the P2000 or the USP, I'm only covering the USP and I'm only covering the CZ uh, for that matter. So make sure you keep that in mind when you're watching this because there will be some weapons missing, that's just because they're not good investments to begin with. Alright guys, let's begin with the $10 price point. I do want to point out that it is a little bit impossible to actually get an exact $10 price point that still has some cool play skins mixed in uh, without going a little bit over. So this is actually $10.37 total, but let's start with the pistols. So for the pistols, I've decided on, for the USP, the Forest Leaves Minimal Wear, this is going to run you $0.35. Cents. This is a very, very old skin. Uh, it will, obviously, with time, increase in value. It's also the only Forest Leaves skin in general. There's stuff like Forest DD Pat and stuff like that, but Forest Leaves is the only one uh, that is on the USP, and is the only occurrence of the Forest Leaves skin in CSGO. So that one's pretty interesting and pretty good. The next one is going to be for the Glock, which is the Blue Fissure FT. The Blue Fissure is a very, very old skin, and there are a lot of ones with Katowice 2014 stickers on them. It also looks really, really good, and it's from the original weapon uh, pistol case, so for that reason, it's a very good choice at field test condition for only $0.65. Cents. Uh, for the Dual Berettas, we have the Panther FT, and these are really good because they not only look really cool, but they are also quite old as well, and they will only run you $0.30. Cents. The P250 Gunsmoke is next. This is going to be obviously for both sides, the P250 Gunsmoke. This skin actually looks really, really good, and I'm surprised that nobody actually uses it because it looks so cool, and you can get one in field test condition for $0.41. Cents. The 5.7 Hotshot Souvenir field tested is only going to be $0.38, cents and is a very good option because it's not only from the cash collection, which may be getting a new collection soon, you can watch another video of mine on that as well, but it also just looks amazing and it is a great option for only 38 cents. The CZ Tigris Minimal Wear is going to be our next skin in place of the Tech 9. This is obviously going to be very, very good because it's from the breakout case, which is pretty old and also is raising in price quite a lot. It's also in minimal wear, minimal wear condition for only 57 cents and looks extremely good in minimal wear condition. Next, we have the Deagle, which is going to be the Meteorite Factory New, which is only 66 cents. One of the cheapest Deagles on the market and also in factory new condition, which is nice as well. Also, a pretty old Deagle, so all around really good options here. So this is what I have for the pistol lineup, and next we'll move on to the SMGs. Alright guys, let's move on to the SMGs that I'm going to be covering in this video, and let's get right into it. So the first SMG that I have for you guys is the MAC-10, and that's going to be the Candy Apple Factory New. So this is a 13 cent skin, and it is really old, and also sort of a beloved skin in the community. The Candy Apple are very good looking skins for a very low price. And uh, personally, this one is not going to be like the best investment you can make, but it is a very good looking skin. And it is one of the only like red skins that you can actually get uh, for this cheap. So that being said, MAC-10 Candy Apple Factory New, 13 cents, very cheap and very good to hold on to. 
Next, we have the MP9, which is going to be the Dart and Field Tested Condition. The MP9 doesn't really have a lot of good stuff like going forward that are actually going to be strong investments. The Rose Iron is an option, but that one obviously is more expensive. The Dart Field Tested for $0.29 cents is a bargain, and that's pretty much the best MP9 you're going to be able to get anywhere. Uh, the next skin is going to be the MP7, and that's going to be the Asterion FT. So this one is actually a good investment. The Asterion is part of the Gods and Monsters collection, and uh, with that the collection being more and more rare and more and more desirable as time goes on with trade-ups and such, uh, all of the skins are going to rise in value over time. So the Asterion Field Tested is going to be a great option at only $0.41 cents in Field Tested condition. Next is the UMP Delusion Minimal Wear. This is only $0.31. Cents and uh, personally, I didn't even know this skin existed, and I've like seen every CSGO skin. So when I was researching this video and I saw this thing, I was like, what the heck, where did this even come from? And uh, for that reason alone, I think it's a pretty cool, pretty like old and sort of unknown, sort of rare skin. And uh, for 31 cents in minimal wear condition, that is not a bad price to pay and a very good option. Finally, we have two more. We have the P90 Virus Field Tested, which is going to be 61 cents. This is actually a good option as well. Pretty old skin and also it looks really nice as well and uh, all around just a great option for only 61 cents. And then we have the Bison Chemical Green and Souvenir Field Tested Condition for only 34 cents. This is, uh, the Chemical Green is actually part of a collection and it's, it's also in souvenir, uh, souvenir Condition, which means that it is going to be a very strong investment going forward. Anything that's Souvenir Condition and also part of a collection uh, that you know, you know, isn't part of the major or anything like that, is a very strong investment going forward, especially the Bison Chemical Green. So, with that being said, the total for the SMGs is $2.09, so if you want to spend $2.09 to get all of these pretty good, pretty good looking skins, fill out your SMG slots, or if you want to get the pistols as well, whatever, it's going to be $2.09 total for all of the SMGs. So next, let's move on to the rifles. Moving right along to the rifles, we have the FAMAS Cyano Spider Minimal Wear for only 11 cents. This skin is also extremely old. Uh, it's not like the best you can possibly get, but we do have to kind of uh, cut down on some values here if we want to keep this close enough to $10 total. So the Cyano Spider is a really good option, and it is only 11 cents, one of the cheapest on this entire list. Next, we have the Galil Kami in Stat Trek Field Tested for only 58 cents. The Kami skins are part of the Breakout Collection, and so with every day they get older and older and older. The Galil also looks really, really good with the Kami skin, and you get a Stat Trek version for only 58 cents. That's a super, super good deal, and a really good option for your Galil skin. Next we have the M4A4. We're not going to be doing the M41S because it's a lot less popular. The M4A4 Urban DD Pat Minimal Wear is pretty much the only skin we can actually get for a reasonable price, and that's going to be 74 cents. It is pretty old, and it is only one is one of the only Urban DD Pat skins in the game. So it's a good option for 74 cents. Next we have the AK-47 Uncharted Field Tested. This is actually a newer skin and you can probably get it for lower as time goes on. Right now it's at 75 cents for Field Tested Condition and honestly that's not too bad. It's pretty cheap for a nice little AK skin to get. Uh, the Uncharted also looks pretty good. I'd say it looks a lot better than the Elite build at least. And uh, it does have a cool overall theme of the tribal theme. It looks really good overall. Next we have the Scout, which is going to be the Abyss Field Tested. This is $0.52 cents total for a Field Tested Scout, and uh, the Abyss skin is also quite an old one, uh, and it is going to rise just because of how old it is over time. You're going to make a little bit of money on it at least, uh, even if it is quite a common one as well. Next we have the Aug Radiation Hazard Field Tested for $0.49. Cents. This is from the Cash Collection, which automatically means it is a very good option to look at right now, just because that collection might be getting a rework and these older skins could go up in value quite a lot. So the Aug Radiation Hazard Field Tested for $0.49 cents is a great option for you. Next we have the SG-553 Fallout Warning Field Tested, also from the Cash Collection for $0.57. Cents. It's a really good option, super cheap, and also looks really good as well. And then finally, we have the Op Pit Viper Field Tested for $1.20. So this is the cheapest and best looking Op you can possibly get uh, when you look at Ops that are like $2 or less. Uh, there are some other options that are a bit higher than this and a bit lower. You can kind of look around and experiment with which one you would like. But by far, the Pit Viper is the best option for your money. It's the best bang for your buck. So all of this added up together, the total is going to be $4.96, which rounds out for a total of $10.37 for all of these amazing skins. You can get your entire loadout filled out for only $10.37 and they'll be good investment play skins.
So guys, that concludes part one of this video. Thank you so much for watching and being here for this video, and hopefully you enjoy part two and three. I'm gonna be doing a $50 price point and then a $100 plus price point for those next two videos, and if you do have a bit more money to spend and you don't wanna buy any of these skins, you can make sure to go check those videos out when they do come out. I will see you all in the future. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to make sure you get notified when all the new videos go up, and make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it to thank me for the amount of editing that I had to do. This did take a very long time. It took almost six hours, I think. It's a lot of uh, a lot of editing just for this first part and a lot of research as well. So anyway, guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go join the Discord server and subscribe to the channel. I will see you all next time. Peace.